Focus on our women. Most common breast cancer, the risk is 1 in 19, but the Chinese alone, 1 in 14. Okay, remember I told you in USA, 30 years ago it was 1 in 20. Now Malaysia, 1 in 19, about 1 in 20. Over 30 years, it became about 1 in 7, 3, 4. Same thing will happen here. We see the trend, it is the same. 30 years down the road, we'll be talking about 1 in 7 Malaysians having breast cancer. Now the problem with breast cancer is so great. The current medical practice or advice for women who test positive for breast cancer genes, there are two breast cancer genes that you can go and check whether you have or not, called BRC, BRCA1 and BRCA2. If you are positive for both, the current medical advice is to remove your breasts while they're still normal. Mm -hmm. Yes, because your chances of ending up with cancer are so high. If you want to live, you remove your breasts. If you keep your breasts, the high chance that you get the breast cancer and die. So when the doctors came up with that, with that, with that advice, you know, there, was a, there was a furor that this is medicine gone mad. All right? It's just like, just like advising someone, why don't you know, to prevent brain tumor, just chop off your head. <laughs> but this was a real medical advice. For those with positive uh, breast cancer genes for both, remove your breast. But after more than a decade, there were, there were enough cases to make a study to see whether that advice was medically correct or not. All right? Forget about, uh, about uh, uh, the other aspects of that advice. Just a medical, a medical advice, was it correct or not? So after a decade, they studied those women who were advised to have both breasts taken off because they tested positive for both and refused to go, to go for surgery compared to those who actually went for bilateral mastectomy. And after 10 years of study, they found out that that advice was correct and still is retained, right? Meaning those who opted to keep their breast, many died. Many got the breast cancer and died. Those who removed their breast did not have the cancer and survived, right? But that is really medicine gone crazy. Right now I'm saying it because, because we have not searched enough for ways to prevent the cancer, right? Uh, those of you who have read my articles know that I am a very, very strong proponent of natural health, especially nutritional health. And whenever things like this come up, I feel vindicated that in my faith that, that since we are we are created from the earth, for those of us who believe that we are in God, that God created us, that the answers to all what we need to our health will come from the earth. And here is one example that vindicates that my belief that from the earth will come the rescue. But okay. well, it's not enough. Malaysian women have the highest NPC, nasopharyngeal cancer, and mouth cancer in the world. You know, Malaysia, not, not enough that we have last time the tallest building, even though now it's only the tallest twin tower. We have in Kuala Lumpur, Batu Kev, the, uh, the biggest Lord Muruga in the world. And uh, we want to have the biggest, this, biggest, this, so our women also want to be the number one in and PC cancer and mouth cancer. Do anyone have a... Can you guess why Malaysian women have the highest NPC mouth cancer in the world? No guess? <laughs> All right, I did some unofficial studies, yeah? But you can quote me though. Why Malaysian women have the highest, especially mouth cancer in the world? Because they talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, lung, can lung cancer among Malaysian women also rising due to smoking. Last time, very few Malaysian women smoke. Nowadays, the younger generation especially, uh, if you go to KL and all the Starbucks, and I'm sure here, no different probably, uh, more women are smoking than men. Okay, so that's the bad news, not the good news. The good news is that today, have you ever heard? Miss Annie Eng told us about the magic of Marquis Superberry. And why is it magical? Because of the science behind it. Now we know the science behind it. 
then we know how good it is. Before that, we've heard. Some tribes having this, some tribes having that. Good, good, good. But only the science would tell us and convince us how good it is. All right? On the way in, a gentleman told me, Dr. Ahmed, last time you wrote that the goji berry is the number one super fruit. <laughs> yes, I wrote about the goji berry. I said, that time I didn't know about this. <laughs> yes, this is new to me until Mr. Joseph N. contacted me. I never heard of monkey berry. Never heard. All right? So it's also new to me. And yes, when they said 20,600, I remember uh, Goji didn't reach 27,000. Right? If, if it's close. Right? Even Goji, this is a many, many different types. There's only one specific one, the Ningxia Goji, that came close, but it's still number one. This is still number one. Okay? So we must be thankful to Miss Annie for not only bringing to USA, now to Malaysia, but also that we heard this, that this company is the only one that's supplied to the whole world. Is that right, Miss Annie? All right? So you deserve this. <laughs> All right. So that's Miss Annie Ang as far as as uh, Marcus Barberi is concerned. All right. She 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 is a lady who brings that uh, brought up this magic to us all. So to fully benefit from this, let us go through the science of what free radicals are, what antioxidants are. It's easy to talk, but when you need to explain to people, you better know the basics. All right, I'm just going to go through the basics of what antioxidants and free radicals are. For many of you, maybe just revision, um, but please bear with me. The fact that we are producing energy produces free radicals in the body. Right? It's a byproduct of normal metabolism. So whenever there is combustion in our body, body, especially in the cells, there's an organelle, there's a small organ inside the cell, so we call it organelle, uh, called the mitochondria, where the energy is produced. So that's where the oxygen is utilized, and the fuel, that is the food um, that we eat, is burned to produce energy. So it's there that most of the particles are generated. And these free radicals are also called reactive oxygen species because actually it is in the oxygen atom within the molecule uh, that, that this uh, mostly happens, um, where there is a loss of um, electrons. And this damage is a major contributor to aging and to degenerative diseases of aging such as cancer, cardiovascular disease, the immune systems, a decline in the immune systems, brain dysfunction, and even cataracts. <coughs> 